what's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media. And I gave PlayStation Now a bit of a bad rap. Okay, uh, in my previous video, uh, basically, you know, said that it could be in the console gaming. And for the most part, I do have a slight point in that or whatever, but because you have to look at it this way. Okay, if you have a console that is virtual, you don't actually need a real console. When you can put it on TVs and smartphones and apps on phones, then technically you don't need a real console anymore. So when you have something like PlayStation 5, what's the reason for them to actually make that a real physical console? Well, Mostly because the uh, internet is shysty some places and it doesn't work all the time and it goes up and down. So it's probably better to have an actual physical console. So no, I don't think it's going to be the actual end of physical consoles, but I had to address that real quick. And speaking of PlayStation Now, uh, their uh, their basic requirements is five megabits per second broadband for play for the PS3, uh, you know, cloud-based service. Uh, basically, for those who don't know, the you know the PlayStation Now is a service, it is a streaming service for the PlayStation 4 in the form of PlayStation Now, and they debuted it at CES. And basically, you can play PS3 games all the way back to PS1 games. Select titles they have not come out with the actual information for that yet, and you can play them on TVs and PlayStation Vita. You fuck name it but five megabits per second is relatively low okay that's like cell phone 3g 4g depending on where you stand in so it's not that big of a requirement for those who are, who are going to worry about it lagging and latency and all this other good shit that shouldn't be a real concern but when you look at what's going on with the whole entire xbox one they are finally going to do an update to address the xbox live issues and the issues with their whole entire user interface that basically sucks ass now a lot of people were claiming that i was fanboying because i said that the playstation 4 ui was better than the xbox one ui and for those of you who have an Xbox One, you know I'm right. Okay, if you have both systems, you can go back and forth, and it's so much easier to get to the shit that you want to get to with the whole entire PlayStation 4. And apparently, other people feel the same way, and they feel the same way. So, in your face, I'm not a fucking fanboy. Okay, the Xbox One has sold 3 million units since it launched in November, according to Microsoft, and the console is only going to get better. And basically, Mark Whitten came out and told people that the feedback they've gotten is was pretty valid some of the social stuff is hidden or harder to use than it was on the xbox 360 so you're gonna see them come out with an update where you know they're gonna address those issues and the major uh... complaints that they had revolved around the games invites the obtuse party chat which many uh, xbox owners have complained is not uh, only far more complicated than the Xbox 360 predecessors, but often fail to work at all. The Microsoft is, has a shaky track record when it comes to interface updates, but basically they're going to try their best to unfuck the situation. Now, I wasn't wrong, okay? I'm sorry if people felt like I was fanboy. I get called a fanboy on regardless of what topic I talk about. If I talk about something about Sony, I'm a Microsoft fanboy, and it just keeps flip flopping. I don't fucking know. But uh, basically, I had to bring that news out to you people real quick so y'all can actually see those issues. I also got to bring you guys this news from Game Informer from their cover that was supposed to shock the world and blow our fucking mind. And apparently, it's a game called Evolve. Okay, it looks pretty good. It's kind of like a bootleg Halo slash Gears of War. Uh, it looks pretty good from the pictures that I can actually see. But right now, we need some new games. It is a gaming drought. It is a fucking Sahara. I am like, where the fuck are the games? There's no fucking games. It don't matter if you got a PS4, an Xbox 360, a fucking, you name it. All the way down to Xbox One, you fucking name it. It's no fucking video games. Nothing. It is dry. I'm like, fuck. So fucking desperate. So fucking desperate. Uh, there are a couple of, like, creeper games out there that snuck up on me because, like, uh, Rise of Rome was a really good game. However, it only lasted, like, two hours. So I was, like, playing it. I'm like, oh, man, this game's about to last a minute. No. It's, like, two hours. And it's like, bye, bitch. Go play some multiplayer. Uh, Knack was supposedly was a creeper. This game came out of nowhere. Okay? I played this game. I've been playing this game for hours. And I'm like... What the fuck is the end of this damn game? It's a fucking, it's harder than I thought it would be, okay? It's, it's actually fun at, at a lot of points. It's, it's, it's entertaining, I guess I could say that. It holds me down right now. And that's crazy, because, you know, I beat Resogun and all these other fucking games. Resogun was good, too. Uh, Killer Instinct is a game that's going to hold you down and, you know, fuck up your fingers a lot. But uh, other than that, it's a gaming fucking drought. It is dead. Dead, dead, dead. Um, 
that's all the news I got for you guys today. Uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter, so y'all know as soon as I come out with a new video, it'll pop up, and you'll know instantly as that happens. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll holler at you guys later.